Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Baby Brunch channel. Today is somewhat of a different video. I am recording from my laptop because I just watched a video by Little Wild Nursery. I am doing a video. I just finished watching a video by Little Bottle Nursery and I will link her video down below. Also put a card somewhere um, during this video. But she was talking about, um, she had a question she said in her video title. Um, and the main question was, do you, do you keep a tally? on the number of dolls that you own in your collection and i wrote notes so i'm, so I'm looking down to see her questions and she actually said she only had a few questions but if you listen to the whole thing she has a lot more questions that i would love to discuss because um it's a really interesting topic i mean all of our answers will vary within this community, this collecting of dolls. And um, I would love to share my answers with you guys. So hopefully you enjoy. So because I'm on my laptop, I am using um, a special recording thing so I can share my screen with you. So first, I will get into, I will configure it. And I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, this is my Instagram. If you don't follow me, please follow along. I do more things than just my Reborn collection. I have, um, <laughs> that's my ice machine, by the way. Sorry about that. I just want to show you that my collection is very large. Um, I do own Fantasy Babies, and um, I recently got my ATI. I did a video about that. Um, <laughs> my specialty is pizza, and this is uh, from a deep dish pan that I recently bought from Timu. I love it. Beware a crazy doll lady lives here. This is a mini silicone that I opened on my channel back in 2016 and I received a lot of hate on this doll and um it was it was horrible so I didn't show this doll on Instagram until recently and the reason why I put this doll up there was to uh show support towards Stephanie of In Loves with the Reborns 2011 <laughs> and um because she had a doll quite similar that received a lot of hate and racist remarks. And it was, so I was just showing my support. This is one of my favorite dolls I ever own. I have a few, like, TikToks that I repost on here that I really love. Um, but I want to show you that, oh, this, sorry, I got sidetracked. This scene right here is from... I used to watch a show called North of 60, and it was back in the 90s, all through the 90s into the 2000s. And this particular scene was about uh, residential schools and quite a touching, quite a heart-wrenching moment. This actress, she lives, she actually comes from my province and she's close to the reserve where I teach. So um, I don't live on the reserve where I teach. It's actually an hour and a half commute away on the highway. I did um, an Instagram post about that down here. Let's see. Um, where? This is me in my classroom right before spring break. Is, oh, right here. This is where I work, far in the boonies, and I love it. It's so far in the boonies, there's no cell service at all. So this is where I live in the Paw, Manitoba, Canada. And um, I grew up at the Paw Airport, which is here at Clearwater Lake Provincial Park. Um, 
is one of the third clearest lakes in the world. It's really amazing lake. Um, but anyways, I live here in the pot and we commute and we go down. And right in here, there's a little window of cell service. But after this point, there's no cell service. So we travel through the bush and <laughs> into Moose Lake where I teach. So this is the gravel. It's all gravel too, by the way. So there's a community traders lake and then there's Moose Lake. And then the school is right here. So, and look at all this forest all around. This is beautiful. I love teaching there. This is all the teacherages. Um, I don't live in a teacherage because when I started working here at the new school, it's a newer school. Well, it's about 13 years old now, but um, I, because I share custody of my sons, uh, they, they went to school in the fall, so I can we can split them to different schools like that. And so I just remained in the paw, but commuted here every day. So yeah, and this is up close. Sorry, the, I'm shaking <laughs> the stable. But this school is from a nursery to grade twelve. There are three wings. Um, there's the early years, middle years, and high school. This is our gym. We have a big track in the back. We have eight school buses um, that go. This is parking, all of this. And yeah, I just love it. And I got sidetracked. So, oh, this is Amberly. Uh, she's my tank sculpt. She was reborn by Lucy Molson in Canada. Anyway, sidetrack. This is, this is also part of my drive to work which I love as well. It's so calming and peaceful. So this is, is getting darker out there on the way to work. So this is part of the road that I drive. Um, I drive to the lake and then I hop in with some car, uh, a couple of ladies, other teachers, and then we go in on the harsh gravel road. This is just part this is gravel road, but it's, it's okay. Anyways, I'm getting a sidetracked. Sidetracked. These are all the dolls I own in my collection that I've named after TV or movie stars, which I love. I am a movie and TV fanatic. Um, so, that's from the movie Six Pack. Oh, Abigail is the only one by a musician, but his music is 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 like opera, but in death metal. <laughs> it's actually Abigail was made for Francis. He is the one that requested her, so she is a custom made by Kelly. So um, that was amazing that Kelly did that for us um, to make a doll Abigail for Francis. It was his request. Um, Dar is from Beastmaster, Charmed, the TV show, the original TV show, Charmed, The Rain, I love that show, Twins, uh, Star Trek, this is a show called uh, Raised by Wolves on Netflix, I really enjoy it, Xena, The Warrior Princess, Nani De Fiance, Xena, 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 <laughs> I love Xena, um, this is from Memoirs of a Geisha, this is from a French movie called Ponette. Uh, this one is Tabitha from uh, <laughs> Bewitched. This is from a movie uh, called The Midnight Hour. And I used to love this movie when I was a teenager. Um, this is from a TV show called Popular. This is Remington Steel. That I really I love that show when I was a kid. Amaris from Xena. This is uh, Riddick from the movie Riddick. This is Donovan. Roy Donovan is named after Donovan the musician. Okay, so I guess I have two musicians in there. This is Ripley and Ellen Ripley and Rebecca from Aliens, my top favorite movie of all time. This is Jenna from Conan the Destroyer Part 2. Uh, Felicity from the Felicity Show. This is Caitlin from the Canadian show Degrassi Junior High. Um, Zena again, this is from Lost, the Bionic Woman. He is from Lost and he is a fall guy. 
And there's actually a couple more that I forgot <laughs> to make a, a collage about, but uh, anyways, <laughs> I'll sidetrack again. This is another thing that our school did that I was so proud of. It's for the Terry Fox run. We do that every single year. And see, this is the environment that my school is surrounded by beautiful, beautiful scenery. Uh, the girls made me this in my grade seven girls. Um, <laughs> so anyways, yes, I make the occasional meme every once in a while. Um, and I do, this is my other hobby, the crafts that I make. So it's my merch, my second edition merch. Um, and I make these. Um, anyways, the point of showing you for the third time is that my collection is giant. And that was part of her discussion was, um, there is a question later on. So anyways, I'll just go through. Here's Carly. Kylie, my child girl. Okay. Okay, question. Do you keep a tally on the number of dolls? Yes, I do. And I can act now that I have my phone, I'm not recording from it. I can show you that I do keep um a note on my phone of all the reborns that I have. Um I I write I make a note of when I bought them. So they're all in order of how I bought them. I gave them their name and um, the number I do keep a tally on top. This is how, I don't know what you could see. Let's see if I can, okay, wait. This is on my phone and that's how many adults I have in my collection. Um, plus Ashton Drake's and uh, Paradise Galleries are on there, and I do have one Adora doll um, on here. But I I keep track of all their names and their sculpt. I don't keep track of who reborn them because most of the time I just remember it anyway. But I do go through this list a lot. Not a lot, not in a long time, but just to refresh my mind on their names because um, I do have a lot of dolls and I do, people ask me, how do you remember their names all the time? It's because I go through this list quite a lot. Plus, I also make lists. I have more of these index cards that say like all my Lordly Eagles babies, all of my Cassie Brace babies, all of my Bonnie Brown babies, and so on, so on, so on. So, yes, I do keep a tally of them, and I make, I even make a list like all my Kelly dolls, all my Weeby dolls, all my Lucy, uh, Lacey Molson dolls, the certain artists I like. So, I will go through these, and the lighting in here is horrible, and this, this camera isn't the best, so I apologize for that, but, um, Okay, number two, do you know how many dolls that I have in my collection? Yes, I do. I know, I know exactly. <laughs> um, and then she had to ask, uh, do you think it's important to know the dolls in your collection? Um, and then I put a little side note that says, <clears throat> like, to curb your spending. I'll tell you this. It's a journey. It's a rabbit hole, <laughs> as many people have said. Um, after a certain point, yes, I did think, I think, like, I don't know. We always start off with the number. In the very, very beginning, I remember that I used to think that three was a good number. And then I thought, okay, ten. It's a good number. After 10, no, no, it was too much. <laughs> and then it went to 20, and then it went to 50. <laughs> when I got to the point of having, like, mm, mm, like in the 40s, 
like close to 50s, I thought, okay, I have to curb my spending. And then I started um, not panicking, but getting anxiety about how many I have, especially with trying to sell them. I did sell a few. And I highly regretted. I mentioned this before, but I I sold about five or so dolls. It might have been more. I, in fact, I do have a list of of which dolls I sold. Even okay. <laughs> so let me see that list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight exactly. Now, the first one I sold. I was happy. I did not regret that decision at all. Um, oh, I forgot. There's another one I sold. My, yeah, I I need to add one more. I did. So nine, two, four, six, eight, nine. <laughs> so nine babies I've sold. Okay, so let's see how many I really didn't regret. One, two, three. Three, three, three. Three of them. Four of them. Four of them, I totally don't mind that they're gone. The rest, so five. I either bought back, actually there is one on here, there's two on here that I did sell and bought back, so they're not part of this list anymore. <laughs> so, I sold 11, that's actually a lot, or traded. Erin, Erin Candy Love Sparkle on YouTube, but she's the only lady I will trade with. Although I did trade with somebody else that I liked, but I forgot who that was. But, anyways, there are a few dolls that I did regret, like, saying bye to, and it's hard. It's hard for me. So, after a certain point, I'm getting sidetracked again. After a certain point, um, I decided that I do appreciate my large collection. And the reason why I say that is because um, I do like a large variety. And I mean, the main focus of my collection is a collection. I love the diversity that I have. I always wanted dolls like with painted hair, rooted hair, bald partially rooted and partially painted. I wanted that full vinyl body baby. I wanted like full limbs only. I wanted like three quarter arms, full legs. I wanted um, three quarter all limbs. I wanted, um, so yeah, I wanted different um, cultures. I wanted different skin tones. I also was curious about the different artists because in the first part of my collecting, I only had a few artists that I've known. Um, that there was one lady in BC, and I, uh, I don't think she's reborning anymore at all. Um, I even forget her name, but I used to buy from eBay. And then there's Kelly who moved on to Reborns.com. Kelly, Kelly's Week in Nursery. I bought a lot from her. And uh, finally, my friend Wendy started reborning, and she was my new artist. So, um, and Lacey Molson, I got to know her work. I really enjoy her, and even her daughter's work, which is kind of cool, Cassandra's work. Um, who else did I get? There's a few Canadian artists. Oh, Natalie Farley, I've tried. I own one of her dolls. Um, there's, anyways, I'm rambling. What was that? <laughs> oh, yeah, diversity. The diversity of my collection. I do have a few favorite dolls that I do love to spend a lot of time with. 
And I must admit, I do have a lot of dolls that are purely just in there for my collection. Like, for instance, my Lord of the Eagles collection. There are a couple of dolls in there that I'm, um, I just purely have to be in my collection because she's Lord of the Eagles. And, um, I bought most of my dolls from Kelly, Kelly's Weekend Nursery, and a few of my Lord of the Eagles are from Wendy of Wavy Dolls. So, that is why also, that's one reason why I don't mind having such a large collection. Number two thing is that I do get bored of the same baby after a while. I noticed that back in the early time of collecting, I only had like three or four dolls at the time, around four dolls, and I thought, no, I want more, I need more, I need to experience more. That's one of my main goals in this hobby was to experience different like different artists different types different sculptors different uh just different differences i loved it i love diversity um well i'm a teacher so i don't know if if that kind of makes like if like it's naturally in me to have to like the diversity i don't know I don't know if that makes sense. Um, and also, because uh, my forte is early years with teaching, and with the preschool and nursery and kindergarten, and even grade one, you have different themes of each month, right? So the thought of me having certain dolls out on display and a few certain dolls tucked away and then rotating them on a some sort of basis totally was fine with me because I'm used to that and I in fact I looked forward to it so it was kind of like opening up a new baby all the time which um I have done a few times and there were a few dolls in my collection that I thought mm, should I get rid of I don't know let's put them away let's see if I miss them and even months can go by and um yeah eventually I will miss them I love all my dolls I love all my collection that I have and it's giant giant but I love them all and there are a few I would say maybe like between 10 to 12 dolls out all the time that I can't seem to put away but um yeah so <laughs> I don't know if I answered I don't know am I rambling how much time did I spend rambling <laughs> okay um do you think it's uh do you think yeah okay the next one do you think it would be it would freak you out if you knew the true number of dolls that you owned? And I answered that no. Um, although there was a time when I had like between forty and fifty where the number did freak me out, but then I accepted it <laughs> because I like it. So and plus there was a little bit of stigma going around at the time in the community where certain people would say um large collections are gross and why you spend all that money and um it's just clutter and it's where do you have the room blah 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 and i felt guilty of having a large collection um because of the social stigmatism around it so uh um, there was a time when I thought, you know what, I love my large collection, and you know what, I don't care what you say about my large collection, so, <laughs> there was a point when it did come to that, so, no, the number does not freak me out, um, do you use the term, mom's the word? Oh, yeah, she didn't mean for that to be a, a question, but she actually did ask it. Do you use the term mom's the word in your country? And in Canada, yes, we do say that. 
Sure, wait, we need it. Mom's word, yes, we do use that. Um, she also asked, sorry, I'm not wearing my reading glasses, so my eyes are trying to adjust. If you can see, I'm trying to like. <laughs> okay, do you have a doll preference? Like for a large or small collection? Because it is true what she said, there are a few people in this reborn community that only want that one doll or that small number of dolls, two dolls, and that is perfectly fine for them. The thing about what I learned in this community years ago is that there are no set of rules. Even though many people first coming in, it kind of seemed like there was a certain set of rules. Like, don't have a large collection, don't have cluttered mess, don't keep your clothes in bins. <laughs> I remember that discussion. Oh, um, like... Or what kind of decorations we use in our dolly rooms. Like, um, don't use this, use that. And um, you come to learn that you do what you want. <laughs> you do what makes your inner self happy. If you only want that one doll, that what makes you happy. It's beautiful. It's, it's such a... a beautiful thing when you realize that what matters to you yourself and no one else but what you feel upon yourself it's the most wonderful feeling and for me accepting my large collection without the worry of what everybody else thought is a wonderful feeling it really is <laughs> so um my preference is that I do like my large collection. And uh, Kitty also mentioned uh, the collectors of the older dolls, the porcelain dolls, are somewhat of a hoarder. Yes. And I am somewhat of a hoarder. <laughs> uh, maybe an organized hoarder, but I am a hoarder as well. I know exactly what it feels like. And yes, even... The stigmatism about hoarding accessories or hoarding diapers. Oh, I used to. Oh my God. There's so many addictive things about this hobby that that I have accepted about. If I can afford it and it's not interfering with my financial stability at, at all, then I'll buy it. And there was a time when I was something only and I wasn't earning as much in my career that I did totally stop buying all these things and I mean I have enough anyway so um if I feel like like for instance I won't buy any more clothes I won't buy dresses anymore I have way too many dresses and I don't need to if I want shopping if I feel like shopping, like, you know how they, you get the urge to go shopping, I just go down in my hoarder storage room and go shopping through some bins that I may have, which I've also done some videos and going through some of those bins. <laughs> and they were fun for me and for a few of you that enjoyed it. So thank you for being here, by the way. And <laughs> anyways... She also asked, um, oh, I just put a side note, talk about appreciating what you love, small or large collection. Yeah, it's just appreciating what you love, what you love, because everyone's preferences are different. We're all different personalities. We all like different things, and what matters to you is what matters in this hobby. So. And then she's, oh, I put in a circle me upgrading my dolls. Okay. There are some dolls in my collection that I didn't really appreciate. And like Kitty in, in her doll, she's had the paint missing from the toes. I do have a couple of dolls by one artist. That's a one MBC. And the paint did rub off. Um, it's very disheartening. However, um, 
me selling dolls isn't really a thing anymore. Um, I'm afraid to sell now with all the scams going on. I've been scammed before myself already, so I don't need to go through that anymore. So the dolls that I don't really appreciate, and I kind of talked about this in my last video I made, I will upgrade them, get a new body. I've even switched out limbs. Um, or if I can't switch out any limbs, I will put them on a cuddle body. I've done that to a couple of dolls already. Um, I will buy, like, I'll just reweight them is the easiest thing. Reweighting a doll is the most important thing you can learn in this hobby. If you don't know how to reborn or anything, I would learn how to reweight a doll to your preference. Because personally, I like them heavy. So, <laughs> I know some people don't like them as heavy as I do, but I really like them heavy on the heavy side. Um, what does this say? I do have two dolls with paint. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just said that. I do have a couple of dolls with paint missing. So, what I plan to do with them, um, I actually do already own some reboarding supplies. So, I would love <laughs> if I ever get the time and most of all the ambition <laughs> to reborn, I would totally redo them. And I even have some blank kits in my collection that I need to, like, I would love to reborn on. Um, oh, and I get comments like this all the time. Where's the best place to buy such and such? Like, concerning reborn supplies. For me personally, I love McPherson's. McPherson's in Canada, Ontario, because um, I trust their company and um, they're in Canada, so I don't have to worry about expensive shipping fees and I don't have to worry about any custom fees that might happen. So yeah, I I remember winning even a giveaway from not in Canada, and I had to pay the custom fees, and I'm like, what? <laughs> but it's supposed to be a giveaway prize, and I have to pay for it. <laughs> but, okay. Anyways, so, I wanted to share with you my collection. So, here's my Instagram. There's me and Carly. Oh, I love her. My Knight Rider shirt. I love Knight Rider. But these, I own a lot. Adults, um, these are all my uh, Cassie Brace babies that I own. Um, she was reborn by a lady in Alberta. Oh, I forget pony some. I forget, <laughs> but she's in Alberta. This is a weeby doll. This is by Lacey Molson. This is a weeby doll. This I bought oh from Erin Candy of Sparkle, and this is from Kelly, Kelly's Weekend Nursery. So, oh, and some one of my Ashton Drake's uh, LED. She's so cute. I always want a masterpiece to hold them. Um, the real authentic masterpiece dolls are way more beautiful than she is, but she's beautiful too. But she was purchased from Ashton Drake. Oh, too many of oh, I made this meme. It's funny. Too many dolls? Never. <laughs> my, can you see that? I don't know. Oh, I think my face might be part of on it. Yes, I do like making the occasional memes. Oh, and I love my pinks. I really do. I made this funny thing. This is me when I have money and buy a doll. <laughs> is there sound? Oh, yeah, I don't want any copyright. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is me when I that's funny. I got that from TikTok. 
Um, so yes, I do own some alternative dolls. This is my zombie girl, Molly. She is actually made, inspired by my real uncle. My great, great uncle. No, my great uncle. Yeah, because he is my grandfather. This is my grandfather, and this is his brother. Um, is Reggie. And, um, he was bullied extremely bad. Um, it's a very sad story. Uh, people with Down syndrome back in that era had horrible, horrible, um, lives, sadly. Um, people didn't know about Down syndrome. They thought that they were crazy or really stupid and um death threats he like of my family accepted him and loved him this is what i wrote this is my zombie molly she represents the trauma and horrors of what my great uncle reggie went through in the 1900s Bill back then did not understand Down syndrome, and my great uncle was a gentle man, according to my dad, who was kind to him. Reggie was bullied, harassed, and his life was threatened multiple times. During these decades of ignorance of how people treated people with disabilities, my family endured shame and ridicule for loving their son and raising him as best as they could. Reggie was part of family. He lived from 1899 to 1979. Dad said the kind people called him crazy, but they accepted him. People were not kind, wanted him dead. I accept Molly, and I feel the pain and trauma that my great uncle endured. Great uncle Reggie taught my family tolerance, acceptance, and love, and I will never forget that. Yeah, my great uncle Reggie. I didn't know him. I was born in 73, so I, I don't remember him. But my dad, I, I kind of remember him once in overalls on the farm, but it's a very, like, I don't remember that well. But yeah, that's my uncle Reggie. And my zombie baby because I understand the pain and the trauma. Anyways. Oh Chio, she's so beautiful. Look at her beautiful eyes. She was reborn by Ashes Asha from Pickles and Tea Captive Hearts. And beautiful. It's my Christmas tree. This might is she my dolly room. And yes. I collect a lot of bottles. Oh, gentlemen, so beautiful. I may not be a Wonder Woman, but I can do things that make you wonder. <laughs> yep. <laughs> True. What's this one say? I don't need more dolls. I have no room for more. <laughs> yep. That's me. The human I talk about no more dolls. I was in Reborn Live magazine. That was so cool. I had three page spread. Ah, I loved it. Oh, Caden Blaine. He is one of my favorites. He will never be put away. He's in my bedroom right now. Oh, this is funny. I made this. Should I buy another doll? Yes, yes, but yellow. It's my baby love collection. Yes, I collect baby lives. I love them. This is me getting ready to organize my nursery room. Camper in me as a man. Ooh, handsome. Danielle at the land. Whoever said diamonds are a girl's best friend forgot about dolls. This is Zena. In her, <laughs> this is Francis's style. 
This is, I made this. Watching certain mm, show YouTube rebook mini videos with my special binoculars. You need those special binoculars, people, sometimes. Sometimes you just need to put them on and protect yourself, protect your eyes from getting splashed. <laughs> Sometimes. Don't hold on to anger. Stop holding on to anger. Shall this give away? Oh, look at it. Isn't she beautiful? Fabluna. Oh. I love her. She's in my bedroom, too. I actually have a Moses basket in my bedroom that has um, all my alternatives in it. So, it's kind of packed. <laughs> dun, 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 the Sims. I love the Sims and Asha, my Sim sister. I love the Sims. Sims 2 is the one that I totally love the best. Here's Zena in her beautiful yellow. This is my adored doll that I got. I named her Deanna Troy. Or no, no, no. This is Ash and Drake. Never mind. I did name her Deanna Troy. <laughs> Excuse me, but she, yeah, she's from Ash and Drake, the little sweetheart. Right, right. But I did name her Deanna Troy. Cambrian, oh, like, my, let's see, okay, I'll scroll back up to the top because I'm just wasting time. I have over 2,000 posts of things. Um, I have, yeah, let's see how many reels I have, I don't know. Oh, some of my TikTok stuff, some of my funny stuff. <laughs> some of my, is that from Snapchat? Yeah, Snapchat stuff. I saved, I saved a lot of, these inspire my crafts, too, so, oh, let's see, see what kind of posts I see, yeah, they're all, for, I want to make these, these are macrame coasters, I do, um, oh, no, what, oh, I forgot about that, recipe I want to try. This is fun. I would love to do this in class. Stuff like this. But then doing them together at the same time? Oh my goodness. But you know the ta ta ti ta Rest, rest. I remember doing that in school. And most of these are just like, oh yeah, what's this? Oh, a group photo. This is, this is, this was back when my collection, I thought, two, four, six, eight. That was, I remember this time in my life when I thought, I love my collection. I don't know if I want more. So anyways, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here with me, as always. And until next time, very, very, very soon. Bye, guys. Oh, I have I have to share with you some ideas that I have coming up. <laughs> Bye, guys. Much hand. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye.